and welcome to a short video we're going to run on cyanotypes. Our club uh, began life in 2013 as a film only camera club. We since moved on to all forms of media but we also like to go back to our roots and every now and then we run some workshops on alternative processes. This one's about cyanotypes which we've always found to be very interesting and well supported by members of the club. So We'll run through the process and how we do it, and then we'll have a look at some of the pictures at the end. Now the first step is to select a suitable photograph. We want something that's not too contrasty, but has got good detail in the highlights and the shadows. This will produce the best cyanotype. So once that's done, we'll put it onto the computer, and we'll do some final adjustments, invert the image, and reverse it so it's ready to go. It's then printed on a inkjet printer and here's an example of it that's been pre-prepared. This is one of the Albany Town Hall taken on a pinhole camera and that explains the artistic effects in the background. After that we go down to the mortuary which is our dark room and we go through the process describing how it's all carried out. The selected negative is then has a final check before being Put onto the hot plate and an application of micro crystalline wax which turns the paper into an opaque negative. Then it can be trimmed so we have trimmed edges with a knife or you can tear them for a different effect. Then it's marked out onto the watercolour paper ready for application of chemicals which are then mixed up. So we take a measured quantity and then we apply it to the photo paper. So this can be done in reasonable light, but not sunlight, so it, can, it doesn't need a dark room. So it needs to be applied very evenly. So we stroke it backwards and forwards, cross, and then we get an even coating. Then that's put into a photo frame with the negative on top, and then placed out in the sunshine, ready for exposure. So the UV meter is there measuring the light, and that can be pre-timed and it doesn't help when you've got standing around waiting, it actually takes, seems to take longer. But once the exposure has been achieved, we then take it back into the dark room. Then it's processed finally and the image is then put onto the table and dried. And here's the results.